All right, everyone, the other day WikiLeaks posted the Antifa derived, I guess, docs of uh, several thousand ICE agents, and a lot of people were really pissed off. They're like, why is, uh, why would WikiLeaks do this? You know, on the one hand, you've got to understand, and I, I'm of two minds on this one. Uh, it's, it's kind of a difficult issue for me, actually. On the one hand, I'm 100% opposed to doxing. I think it's a shitty practice. It's basically, it's self-replicating too, because it's like, you're like, well, in this one instance, the person deserves it, and then someone will turn, turn around and do it to you, and then, you know, your fans will get involved, and there's just shit being flung everywhere, and it's like, you know, there are some things that you just shouldn't stoop to. It just doesn't make sense to do so. Uh, and then sometimes people are like trying to dox others, they get exposed for it, and then ruins their career. Uh, there are more than one alt-media personality has fallen prey to this. Uh, so it's just not a wise idea, but on the other token, I still support WikiLeaks in general, and I'll tell you why. Every time WikiLeaks does something, and it seems political at all, people chalk it up to a conspiracy or political motives or whatever. When I see people saying, well, WikiLeaks has been compromised, clearly they've changed, and now they're a tool of the establishment or something, you sound a little bit like the establishment neoliberals complaining about them being Russian pawns despite applauding them back during the Bush admin. And during the Bush admin, it's like, well, these traitors, these horrible people, they're leaking info through this evil site called WikiLeaks. And the Democrats are like, ha ha, Bush is a warmonger. Obama gets in office. WikiLeaks starts dumping, you know, intel because Obama's spying on everyone. Oh, good, these evil WikiLeaks uh, users, they're, they're like, you know, doing espionage. We need to do something. The Republicans are like, well, well, no, no, calm down. Maybe we need to look at this stuff. And then, of course, then it turns into Ma Russia. Uh, and it's still sort of Ma Russia, but the establishment, right now, the establishment still considers Assange to be Russian, I guess, for some odd reason. Uh, and I think he's dying or sick at the moment, which is you know, terrible. Um, yeah, they, they still say that they're controlled by Russia, while people now on the right are like, well, they're d taking these Antifa docs and dumping them. Well, ICE agents are government workers. They're not civilians like, you know, the average person in the population. They're taxpayer funded. Uh, they're tied with law enforcement and the military with regards to borders. Uh, that being said, these are, at the very least, WikiLeaks probably could have picked a better time to release it, and I'll try to explain why. You have a bunch of neoliberals right now whipped into a frenzy by the non-existent immigration crisis. I say non-existent because the, the immigrant kid detention facilities are half as populated as they were a few years ago under Obama. So the, the actual crisis point was around 2014, 2015. A lot of them, uh, those uh, detention facilities are, are way less crowded now, better staffed now than they were before when Obama was giving these kids to human traffickers because he just didn't give a fuck if it was his real parents showing up. Didn't bother to ask the kid, I guess, oh yeah, yeah you're going to have to go with him. But he's not my father. Well, you know, the fucking he says he's your father. You know, it's good enough for me. He's got like this fake ID or something, I guess. Oh yeah, I can prove it. Here's my, you know, fake driver's license. Oh, yeah, bye, have fun. Have fun being sold on the worldwide cartel network for, you know, $10 or some crazy amount. Uh, now, at the same time though, WikiLeaks should have waited because there are people spurred on by that issue. Uh, to saying violent things regarding ICE agents, families, like you had, uh, what's his name, that has been there, uh, fucking, I, I can't even remember, Peter Fonda or something, uh, you gotta tie him in with Jane Fonda, I suppose, similar mentality, I suppose, uh, saying, well, we're gonna show up at ICE agents' houses and you should terrify their children, Baron Trump should be abducted and put in a cage, and, and weird shit like that, wait until stuff cools down a little bit, and then you can post the docs. You know, if you really feel compelled, I'm not sure exactly what it solves, though. It's not a particularly important compilation. I'm not sure. It does look like at least, you know, whoever at WikiLeaks greenlighted it, I guess, did it for political reasons. But the thing is, WikiLeaks as an organization, in total, is not, in my estimation, political. And in fact, it would have a slightly libertarian bent. They've done this to both Republican and Democratic administrations and people all over the spectrum as far as within governments. It's like yeah, the Democrats keep pretending like WikiLeaks only focuses on US political issues. Like, oh, they're, they're sponsored by Russia, okay. So when they were posting stuff from the Kremlin, uh, did Putin green like that? Did Putin say, yeah, take some of this secret info so that it looks less conspicuous that you've never dumped anything from Russia. Go ahead and post some shit about me on there. 
Putin doesn't like WikiLeaks. Putin's probably just as afraid of WikiLeaks as any of the U.S. politicians. That's why they constantly spin fabricated theories about him. And then I see people saying, well, Assange is no longer in control. He's incapacitated, and now the government run, like the CIA took it over. It's like, okay, how am I supposed to prove that? That sounds like a, a bit of propaganda from the intel agencies to try to get me not to trust what WikiLeaks posts. Look, we know these docs are real. It's not falsified. And maybe it shouldn't have been posted. Maybe it's irrelevant. Maybe, you know, some person at WikiLeaks did have a political motive. But that doesn't tarnish the entire organization, at least insofar as my opinion. I just don't like the concept of doxing. But remember, it's just like with hacking. Like, oh, WikiLeaks are Russian hackers. WikiLeaks does not itself gather any of this info. It simply accepts the info when it is submitted to it. So I guess someone from Antifa is like, hey, you know, dump these docs. Yeah, these government workers, you know, government, you like transparency. Ultimately, wouldn't it be wonderful if all government workers had uh, all of their personal info out there? Now, I think it would uh, make for a bit more polite and transparent government. I am, I'm slightly tongue-in-cheek in saying that, but it would work, wouldn't it? You know, congressional staffers and people like that. Maybe if they knew that there was potential fallout for their actions, they would tread more lightly. Just putting that out there. I, I don't agree with violence or harassment or anything or campaigns towards ICE agents. In fact, ICE agents, I have more respect for them than most government entities. It's like, you know, the IRS, maybe less so. You know, please don't audit me, bro. <laughs> don't worry, I can prove everything that I wrote off. But I still had to pay 16 grand in taxes, so you got plenty of blood money. I don't know, the CIA, oh yeah, you show up at the CIA agent's house, you open the garage, you find out it's literally just balls to the wall, it's nothing but a giant brick of cocaine or something. You show up at the congressional staffer's house, it's like, oh, the dumpster uh, in front is completely filled with vodka bottles. And this person is antisocial, so they're not partying and uh, their friends aren't helping him drink it. I think that's the average congressional staffer, if they have the money anyway. Got to work for John McLean's office. You know, at least he can't sexually abuse you because he can't even lift his arms above his head. So, you know, it's a little different. Now, as far as WikiLeaks goes, uh, I would say generally still in support of the, the concept of WikiLeaks. They're not the ones digging for info. They're putting out whatever they're given. I do think perhaps they should use a bit of discretion with regards to something like this. Though it's like you're ins you are insinuating it into a current issue in which violence has been fomented by the alt-left. Uh, and you're not, as far as I know, really gaining anything by this, except that a lot of people that like WikiLeaks have a positive view of it. Now they don't like you anymore. And it's like, you know, you need public support of some kind, at least some at, at certain times, because otherwise the Ma Russia story, it sticks. And then nobody will listen to you because it's a nonstop tidal wave of neolib propaganda. That's about all. Peace out.